This week on Reef Call TV, we're here at the newest one of these events, The Proving Grounds, at the Government Training Institute in Barnwell, South Carolina. If you run cold during the course of fire, that means you're out of bullets. Any targets you don't engage is a penalty. Any targets that you bypass will be a penalty because you have no bullets to engage said targets. Pew, 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 don't fucking cut it. You have three minutes to get your kid on, get to the station that you're assigned to with the proper equipment. Move out. This is not a standard shooting competition. This is a competition and an experience. Here is your one clue for the entire day. Pay attention to details. That will either determine whether you win or lose. Over the past few years, there's been an explosion of new shooting events that incorporate physical challenges in addition to just straight up marksmanship. We're here at the most recent one of those. The newest kid on the block is the Proving Grounds, and their inaugural event is being held at Government Training Institute in Barnwell, South Carolina. Now, this is one of the most challenging and bizarre range complexes I've ever been to, and the reason for that is it was never conceived as a range. Originally, this was built as a nuclear reprocessing facility. So there are towers, there are tunnels, there are catwalks. There's all sorts of interesting machinery that goes bzzzt. To find out more about the challenges we have ahead of us this weekend, let's go talk to one of the organizers. Sarah, Adam, yeah. thanks for inviting me to the Proving Grounds. What have we got planned for this weekend? We have a lot of fun and exciting stuff planned for you. We have four stages during the day and then two at night. So a little bit of fun with some night vision, some thermals, and Adam, you want to give a little more detail? Well, look, all the stages that we have planned, uh, that we have going on this weekend, they're all designed to try and bring a sense of realism. Sure. Right? The whole concept about the Proving Grounds is about an experience. There's a crap ton of shooting competitions in the market. Everybody, everything from IPSC, USPSA, you know, uh, other tactical competition games, but they all are focused on the competitive aspect of it. Mm -hmm. there's, there's not really a focus on the experience. How do you actually take the concept of tactics, real world considerations, and apply them in a scenario that drives shooters to not only be better shooters, but also apply real world tactics in a competitive based situation? Sure. And that's, that's the whole focus. If anybody's coming in from the outside, looking in from you know, 30,000 feet, competitions like this tend to be a little bit intimidating. So, you know, how do you address that? A couple of different ways. We do have a few different divisions to make everyone, you know, feel comfortable. And then... Even for old guys like me? Even old guys <laughs> like you. old guys like you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, normal different, different divisions. Um, so what are they? Uh, we have elite, men's elite, men's intermediate, men's masters, and then women. Awesome. And the other piece, too, is you have some other shooting competitions that demand that you bring a very specific sort of setup. So you got to have a certain type of optic, or you have to run iron sights, you have this, you have that. One of the things that we're doing is if you have gear, you run what you bring. So if you have a rifle with iron sights, that's what you run. If you have a pistol with iron sights, that's what you run. If you have a pistol with um, red dots and you want to run that, you're, you're welcome to. It's, it's really opening up the ability for people who are brand new into, the, into shooting sports and they want to compete or participate to come out and have an experience. You don't have to show up to compete, just show up, participate, have fun, learn some stuff, and then take it back and apply it in real life. You mean I don't have to go and knock myself out in order to get like, a, on that podium finish and otherwise my weekend is completely ruined? No, that's not the point of the competition. <laughs> yeah, look, look, the point of competition is winning. We all know that, but in reality, it's not. This is not about winning. It's about the experience. It's about the tribe. It's about the community. It's about building better people and building better shooters. Yeah. So if you're new into the world of shooting, come and have fun. Be a part of the community and experience what it really is to just hang out, shoot guns, and talk trash. And you get to compete in a place like this. Yeah, look at this place. Ladders, stairs, tunnels. You're gonna have an opportunity to experience a little bit of everything. You're gonna be tired when you're done, but you're gonna be done and you're gonna have accomplished something. It doesn't matter if you win or not. You just showed up and you participated and you did something. That's what it comes down to. Can't wait. Thanks, guys. Well, it's 0750 on the first day of the new Proving Grounds event, and we're just getting ready to run the first obstacle course. Uh, looks like we're going to be going through this building behind, up on the roof maybe, down in the basement, who knows, and shooting a bunch and getting really, really sweaty.
we just wrapped up the night vision stage in this building in the back of me. Don't know what it was, but that building holds a lot of secrets, I guarantee. Great stage though. Had to clear the building, had uh, a selection of shoot and no shoot targets throughout it. They're shooting UTMs inside, so not much in the way of you know, blast or concussion. So a really good, just a good stage. I mean, it forces you to act tactically, clear the room properly, dig your corners, establish point of domination, the whole nine yards. And uh, yeah, what a bunch of fun. From here on in, we head over to the tower and this one is gonna be a tower of suck. nine-story tower of suck it was time to move on to the flat range where we got to drag a 200 pound dummy through the muck See the heavens absolutely open. The last stage we've got to do a rope climb. The rope is going to be extremely slick. Um, are we going to be able to do it? No idea. But we're going to give it a try. Get out there, whack some steel targets with a rifle, get out there, run an obstacle course, and then shoot a bunch more with a pistol. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> it was a fun last stage and I'm finishing up the day. Battered, bruised, all my kits got all the new knocked off of it. Rifle ran absolutely superbly. I was going one for one on hits out to like 350, 375. Scope ran great. Um, I'm filthy, disgusting, scratched up, battered, bruised, but got to hang out all day with a great bunch of guys. And honestly, who could have asked for a better way to spend a weekend? What a weekend. Now, I've got to get, get out of all this shit, get packed up and go catch a flight. So there you have it. If you want to find out more about the rifle I was running, head on over to the gun room episode just down our playlist. And if you want to find out more about Proving Grounds, then head to their website and see if they've got an event near you. I had a ton of fun ringing out my gear and making a whole bunch of new friends. Hopefully, I'll see you on the range soon.